So when I was in grade one, I remember telling my mom that now when I grow up, I want to be a doctor. Then I wrote my grade seven exams thinking that I'll become a doctor. I even wrote my grade 12 exams thinking that I'll become a doctor. Moments I'm later. A, I'm not a medical student. I don't think I'll ever be a medical student. But do you want to be a doctor? Do you want to be an engineer? Or do you want to check your programs? Then this video is definitely for you. So I'm going to share with you guys what you need to know. Yeah. I be so sick of you niggas, y'all contradicting I be so bold myself, bring you come and fuck me I feel so ordinary, say when you around me Treat me like photo, why you me out? Why you miss me? Hurt me out? Hey guys, so welcome to another YouTube video with me. In this video, I will basically share with you guys information about the School of Mathematics and Natural Sciences as of now, the year 2024. So if you're going to be watching this video in 2025, five years from now, just know that this information that I'm sharing with you guys is as of now. So let's dive right into the video and please don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends, your family and turn on the notification bell so that every time i upload a new video you're going to be notified yeah so if you want to be a doctor an engineer of uh if you just want to be in the medical field then just know that before you go in that field you need to go um and study what we go natural what we call natural sciences what do you mean how sciences and mathematics as well so now what is this mathematics and natural sciences so it's a school you're gonna find this at um, most of the universities right here in zambia so now let's look at the school of mathematics and natural sciences so how does it run how does the school of mathematics and natural sciences occur so if you go into the school of mathematics and natural sciences just know that you are in non quarter you do not have a program yet I don't know uh, about other schools or but what I know is that at CBU before you can go into the school of medicine engineering you, you first need to go into the school of mathematics and natural sciences you do not get direct entry into a program that you want to do you first of all need to make points in the school of mathematics okay they are abbreviated as NS so we're just going to call it NS yeah so you need to make points in this so now let's just try to answer some questions that you might have been wanting to have answers to yeah so the first question is i've written some questions down right in this book here yeah. so how is ns so when you go into ns you are in an culture you do not have a program yet so you need to first of all make points and then you are going to apply to that program that you want to be in then the second one is how many courses are there in the school of mathematics and natural courses so we basically have six courses we have um, mathematics we have biology chemistry and physics in that chemistry and physics as one subject back in high school just know that in university you're gonna have chemistry and physics separate so uh we have biology chemistry physics we also have mathematics then we also have um computer computer studies and we also have communication skills yeah those are the six courses that you're gonna have in ms the next then the next question is which courses do i need to make points in so out of the six uh, courses that i've just listed you're gonna have to make points in four subjects what are these four mathematics and the natural sciences which are chemistry biology and physics yeah and the next question is what about the other two courses what do i need to do with them so for the other two which is uh, communication skills and computer studies you just need to clear those um, subjects oh no they're not subjects they are courses in university we call them as courses so you just need to clear the courses uh what's to clear uh you just remember in high school we used to have what we call a pass mark a pass mark 
your teacher or your school would set a certain pass math for a certain subject for example for you to pass mathematics you need to get above 50 percent so in university that applies as well for you to clear the subject the two subjects you need to uh to, to pass them and the pass mark for uh for for cbu is 50 percent then for unza it should be 40 percent same applies from long or if i'm not mistaken yeah so if you are at unza or cbu comment the the, the what the the three shot right in the comment section so the next question is how do i make points so if you get it an a plus an a plus it means that you have five points and an a plus at unza is 90 percent plus and for cbu 86 percent plus i don't know the a plus for mulungushi i honestly don't know but if you know it then you can comment it so an a plus for unza is 90 percent and if you get a 90 percent plus it means that you have five points then for a, a straight a a straight a is four points um b plus three points then a straight b uh two points then c plus one point uh then for a c a c you don't get any points it means that you have cleared your course so that's what i mean by clearing your course then the next question is what programs are there after ns we have um medical programs we also have engineering programs and we also have peers so usually when we go into the medical field you're gonna find that medicine and surgery usually has the highest points the cut of points uh, is the cut of point is usually 15 points plus well it depends um with how the students have performed in that academic year then for engineering courses they are mostly the second ones then we also have um, the peers the peers if you did well but then you're not on point you're gonna go in in those uh, peers yeah guys so that was all i had for you in this video and if you think that i left out something else then you can comment it right in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe Turn on the notification bell and comment something in the comment section. Thank you.